Hello, everybody. Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Once again, we have this awesome cab over. This is the Peterbilt 362 by John Ruda. And uh, a lot of you have been asking me to do this one, so I finally got around to it. And a big thanks to John Ruda for partnering with my channel uh, and providing me with his trucks so I can show them to you. We're running uh, Z Mods C18 in this thing, 800 horsepower. We are in Yankton, South Dakota. And we're taking, well, it's called fertilizer, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about that later on. But we have a nice Budweiser uh, looking truck here. And we're going to be going up to Minnesota, Jackson, Minnesota, actually. And here we are with the interior of the 362. Really, really well done. Good attention to detail. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. There we go. It's all coming to life now. We can roll the windows down here. The old roll down style windows, the, uh, you know, hand crank ones. And we'll put this thing into gear. It's a 13 speed. And we're going to get rolling on out of here. We got the trailer back there. Yes, we do. It's pulling right alongside us or along with us rather. There we go. Make a right turn out of here and We'll get on the highway before too long here. Happy Friday to all of you. I hope you had a great week. Hope you have a good weekend ahead. And uh, we got this awesome horn. Yeah. Everything you would expect out of Z Mods is here in this package. A lot of you guys like the cab over trucks. I've never been a huge fan of cab over trucks. However, this one is starting to steal my heart just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. So... That's what we got going on here today. I don't have a blinker set up. Oh no, because I have the TGT2. Big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video with the wheel cam and the TGT2 uh, we're using today. I will uh, have to mark some, or I'll map some buttons for my blinkers here on this because I don't have my little uh, flappy do. We're gonna be making a right hand turn out of here so I might as well just uh, let you listen to the truck. And uh, all right, so we have that all set up. Now I'm gonna make a right turn out of here. Actually, we'll wait for this truck to go by, but I'm gonna keep it in the outside view so you can see the 362 in action. A lot of customization options to it you can use, um, but if you are familiar with the John Ruta trucks, that is uh, pretty much what you can expect uh, when it comes to the customization of this one. And we might have to wait for this RV and another truck as well here. Although he's getting that, nope, he's gonna stay in that lane. All right, the floodgate has been closed. We are ready to start. Turn rolling right. out into the road here, and we are turning right. Yeah, I can't find a grind it, especially in the third person view. My bad. I'll have to uh, figure out where we're going here, but yeah, great looking truck. I love the Budweiser trailer combo using John Root's awesome trailer as well. Right. All right, so we need to get in the right lane here. Uh, enough of messing around with the third person view stuff. We'll get to uh, what we're normally used to doing around here. And that is just driving the truck, you know? All right. These mirrors are really nice. Big and they work well with the FOV mod, no problem. After this guy, we're good to roll before that truck comes. Great sound of truck with Z Mods Cat C18. Got the green route, don't throw garbage. Okay. So, this is the Great America map, version 3 by Voith. And that's what we are rolling with here today. That's why we have Yankton, South Dakota to check out. And we're outside of Vermilion, it looks like. Or well, we're headed towards that. Of visibility in this truck. Wait, I'm not used to the 13 speed. Is that all we had? Like, was there, and then we have four high? I think that's it. I don't think we have a fifth gear option in this particular truck. Let's see if we do. Yeah, we do. There it is, five low. I have to get used to it. 
I'm used to driving the 18 speeds all the time. So, new scenery, checking out the new map, and then on top of that, got a new truck to drive. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm not used to the cab overs, but I do like them. Or, I mean, uh, I'm not a big fan of the cab overs, but I do like this truck in particular, the Peterbilt 362. It's really well done. It's the law. Let's slow down to 35 here. This guy is hitting the brakes big time, so we're in Vermilion. So yeah, we were just outside of there. Not bad at all. Might have to use a little bit of uh, the actual gear splitter with this transmission as we get used to it today. We're gonna be making a left-hand turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in the left lane here. You saw me going for the little flappy thing. <laughs> Don't have it connected to the TGT2 yet so far. So the TGT2 is just uh, a more beefed up version of the TSPC racer that I, I had before. It's a smaller unit too, but man, it's smooth and powerful. I'm liking it so far. I've been using it in the iRacing stuff. And you saw it in, uh, I believe the last video when we drove the Ram up into Yellowstone. But for those of you that didn't check it out yet, well, here you go. After 100 yards, turn left. If you want to know what I'm using, everything's linked in the description below if you want to check it out there. Um, especially with, uh, you know, the motion platform I'm using, the wheel, etc., etc. Big thanks to ATS Accessories for, you know, having the awesome adapter here for my SCI wheel. So if you're looking for a similar setup, that's where you want to check everything out at right there. Yeah, I think I missed that one completely. Yep. I feel like I'm just driving for the first time in a long time. It's very strange. I don't know why my audio just kind of clipped on me there for a second. That was weird. Very strange. All right. Left. Linker on. Now we're on the highway. We do have rain in the forecast here on the way up into Minnesota today, so we might run into that. Just keep that in mind. I'm just going to go ahead and just double clutch until I get used to the RPM on this transmission. So far, so good. And five low here. Let's see if we can go up into five high. Yes, we can. Awesome. So I've been getting a lot of comments lately about uh, about Mr. Riding with Dave. And yes, I do know that he is back trucking again with CFI. And he's got his blue truck. And we'll, we'll do an homage to that soon enough down the road. 55 mile an hour. Oh, it wasn't that bad. Oh, that's Sioux Falls. Okay. Sioux Falls discovered. I gotta say, Voith, great job. Really has been bringing it, uh, bringing the the bar up every release with the Great America map. So if you're uh, you're into this style of map here, um, this is one to check out on his Patreon page. I'll have it uh, linked in the description below as well. Sioux Falls, next three exits. There's six low. I think we're going to have a six high as well. 65 through here. Interesting. I don't know what that is in the middle of the road there. Left. That was weird. I'm keeping left. I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry. Headed north to Fargo. Right now. I need to get in the right lane again. Well, we still can before anybody gets on the highway. So used to seeing that snout on the truck, you know. <laughs> that was throwing me off a little bit here. Oh, now we're doing about 70 there. We can put our Jake into uh, the medium mode here. Medium setting. So, yeah. I'm on... ATS 145. So I'm on the beta still. All right, you got some right. After school buses over there. Got a high school over there. That's right. Oh man, okay. This lane ended on me. That was weird. Wasn't ready for that one. Exit right ahead. Guess we're going to be making a right turn up here. Yep. Looks like it. So 145 on that, Great America 3.0, uh, a lot of different mods. I did um, upgrade to JBX3, Graphics 3. So this is the new ones. It has the new Sky 
uh, box two, I believe. So we have this different looking skybox today. If you're wondering, that's what's going on with it. But the, the main focus today is the Peterbilt 362. And I gotta say, I am liking it a lot more than I thought I would. It's a unique setup with having your dash like off to your side here like that. And then the sleeper back there with the curtain. So Cliff Avenue Airport off to our right here. If you're familiar with the area, I certainly am not. I haven't been to South Dakota in forever. Been a long time. So the cat's out of the bag. Yes, I've been talking about it. Moving to St. Louis uh, this upcoming, not this weekend, but next weekend, actually. The weekend of the 23rd and 24th. And I will be doing a moving stream on twitch.tv slash jfabian if you want to check it out there. That is the plan. And welcome to Minnesota, everybody. We're here. It's a quick hop. Because you got to remember, we're in a, you know, a scaled down version winter season wheel chain must be equipped yep we're on a condensed version of the u.s so that's the reason why things fly by so quickly because i get a lot of people that just don't really understand the reasons why that is the case it's not a one-to-one -one scale but i've been looking at the the new screenshots for texas that SES has been releasing with the new rest areas and all that. Man, it's looking really good, isn't it? We have that and we have Montana. We're going to have so much to explore soon enough. And I'll be in my new place by then, so. My plan of action is I would really like to uh, say six low is my final gear in this truck. Uh, what I would love to do is have separate setups for, uh, for my studio when I move. So I want to have, you know, a setup for the the PC to play PC games on itself and then have a second setup for just, you know, trucking um, and then another setup for flight simulator stuff uh, because so currently right now I'm just constantly changing things out here on the desk and uh, the rigs uh, kind of all in one piece so I, um, I would love to do more flight sim stuff and all that and even trucking but like if I have a place I could just set things up it would be so much easier to do that's the dream, though. That's been the dream for a long time, but I think it's going to actually happen this time around. I think I'll have enough space for it. Because this current uh, room, I don't have enough space for it. Play station next right. You got it. Hopefully, we'll uh, get the green light here. Come on, green light. Come on, green light. We got the green. We don't have to stop. It's the Worthington truck stop there, or way station. I think that's what it said. This Cat C18 is uh, more than enough power. They had a thousand horsepower options. Like, I don't think I need that. And I was right. I don't. Probably get a little bit of rain on this run, but maybe not. Maybe that's not going to happen. I do have the probability up on it. So we can. Oh, looks like we're exiting up here, aren't we? Well, I might as well fall back in line. Sorry about that, guys. Back over. I didn't realize we had a turn coming up so quickly, but we do. We got a distribution center here on the left hand side. Right. After 50 yards, South right Jackson. Right. Yep, that's what we want. Exit right ahead. I think I can let's give uh, floating a chance here. Right. Let's try to float through our gears. I think I understand the transmission a little bit now. Turn right. We're gonna turn right. Don't you worry about it. So let's go through our gears here. We'll keep it in the low end. And we're gonna try to do some gear jamming here by floating the gears. He's turning. What's really nice about these cab overs, man, you can really stick your nose up here in uh into traffic's business and it's really helpful you know when you're at a, a dock that's uh you know not giving you a whole lot of room all right let's go let's do it sorry car it's happening now 
You gotta be faster with it. Nope, I already messed it up. <laughs> wow, man. That's difficult. Let's see. I can go like this. I think I gotta be faster. Yep, I just have to be faster with the, the gear change. That's all. I was being too slow with it. Can't use your Jake break in a small town. Yeah, I know. Welcome to Jackson, by the way. Man, this is really detailed stuff. And you wouldn't uh, even think that, you know, they're using a regurgitated assets from other DLC. And that's usually a, a, the thing, you know, whenever you're going to get a third party map like Great America, you're going to want to have all those DLC already because it's going to give you the, the best experience. And I think a lot of it's required, actually. But it has been a minute since I've checked that out. Let's roll our windows down and just listen to the sounds of the town here of Jackson and go through our gears. It's a short little showcase here today of the Peterbilt 362. I don't think it's going to be a stranger here on the channel now that we have it uh, in the game and all set up. A lot of people have been having issues with getting payment to John Ruta for his uh, trucks. I just used his uh, website. But if you can't use the website or you're not getting your payment, you can always try to contact him on uh, Facebook or whatever. That's where I did it a long time ago before I even partnered with him. Coca-Cola. Well, we're making a left turn up here. This looks like it all just kind of meshes together. I see that truck there. I got to turn up here, buddy. Yards, we're just pretending we have beer on board here today, but we don't. Is it this road? Oh, it is. Okay. It's not even a road. Is it this thing up here? Oh, it is this thing. Okay. This wild guy right here. This is interesting. I have ever seen this before. Maybe it's a good thing we have a cab over today. I'm sure we can get in there, no problem. Oh, yeah. We got it. We got that. Yeah, this is unique. I must say. Now, backing, that's going to be a whole new world, so we'll see how that goes. I really thought this was going to be a lot longer um, trip than it is, so that's okay. Sometimes we get short ones, and you get to get in here, see the see the truck and the map, and it's more than enough. We don't always have to do 45 minutes of driving, you know? That's for certain. Happens a lot on this channel, but... <laughs> And don't worry for those of you that are uh, fans of American Truck Sim. I'll, I'll have an, I'll have another. This is the shorter one. I'll have an, a longer one for you this next week. I promise you. Okay. So where do they want this thing? Back here. I think it's around the corner. Okay. Probably should go around that way. No, I think it's gonna be back here and then back into the left. Because of the right. I think it's the right down here. It might be behind this building here on the right. So yeah, I couldn't get a beer run, so uh, we're technically hauling fertilizer, if you're wondering. Yeah, it's back in this little spot right here. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever had this one before. Is this, a, this might be one of those new ones. I think it is. Not, not a new one, I think it's a custom one. So is Voight doing his own custom drops now? That's pretty neat if that's the case. I like it. And look at that. That is cool. All right. Should be in a good spot right here. Just go on back with it. Follow that trailer on back. Straighten it out a little bit more here. See that over there? I know there's dirt and all that over there. So let's go ahead and start swinging it this way a little bit more. I can see the lines there. I'm sure I got to hit anything on it right. I mean, I see those guys over there, so we're fine as of now. Boy, this uh, cab over is really nice right now, let me tell you. All right. Kind of straight back in there now. I'm going to try to angle it a little bit more onto the lines. Now that we can see that we're clear on that side. There it is right there. And let's go ahead and bring the truck back with it. This might be okay. I didn't want to hit that thing right there. A little tent. 
We might have to pull this up a little bit to the left here, but they might take this as is. That's not too bad right there. Yeah, if we were in a dubber, W900, a dubber, a W900, we would have had problems there next to that tree trunk. All right. I think they might be happy with this. We just keep on coming back. We're in there. Yeah, it's green. <laughs> not too shabby. Had problems, you know, driving the truck today, but outside of, you know, actual driving part, we did pretty good. Let's kill it and we'll unload. All right, let's unload the truck and see what we got here. Man, what a great, great truck. We got a late. I knew that was going to happen because the, uh, the time thing is kind of still screwed up with JBX. I'm trying to fix that. I'm not sure uh, what I can do to fix it. Um, so I'm going to look into that for sure. But eh, not a big deal. We were just showcasing a truck anyway today. But there you go. That's what we got. Not a huge deal. That is the truck. And I'm going to show you the uh, a little bit of the customization options to it. And here it is right here. You see you only get the 60 sleeper on this thing. And then you have a 6x4, 6x4 long. And then you can get an ultra long as well if you're uh, wanting that. There it is right there. Uh, and then engine options, quite a few. You know, I have my Z mods in there and, and a bunch of other ones uh, have uh, good old Creech bombs uh, set up there. And then you have a bunch of transmission options as well. Uh, the interiors, you get uh, beige, uh, beige, black, blue, green, and red if you want that. So you can go with the old classic look all you want. And then you get a bunch of paint styles with it here. And I'm just clicking on some of these to show you. Pretty darn cool. A lot of options there. Uh, and then we have all of these options, which is your accessories. So you have the different bumpers and all that. Pretty neat. Like I said, if you're used to John Ruda's uh, trucks, you're used to the customization that you can have here. Um, and then different headlight options, even LEDs if you want those. Pretty darn cool. Look at that. Very nice. Uh, then you have fenders for uh, wide Alcoa tires, uh, LEDs for round marker lights, or you can have the re regular one. Uh, and then you have your different grills, which is really cool. I'll look at this one. And then this, you have the, well, here, I'll show you. You have the covers. Where are the covers at? They're over here, aren't they? Nope. Maybe there. Maybe there. Maybe there. So it has to be a certain grill. So, like, I have to go here and, and choose a stock or a V1 grill. And then I can come up here and change out the leather on it for winterizing the truck, which is pretty darn cool. A lot of options there with that as well. So there you go. Different visors you have there to choose from. You have your different uh, lights. You can have a bunch of lights all the way across. You can have a light bar on there. Um, etc. etc. Then we have the different uh, horns. Nah, don't worry about that. And then we had the options for the wings like I was using. You do have interior lighting options. Uh, here is the wing options right there. So you have the big wing. You have the, the flat one. You got the open. That's what we use today. And then we have the type 1 and type 2 which is pretty darn cool. Uh, and then you have your different uh, options with the uh, stacks here with mufflers, without mufflers, etc. Uh, and then options back here for, well, that's for the inside but lamps four there you have six there so it's it's kind of uh not a whole lot of customization but there's enough there to to mess around with things for sure so i'm not gonna show everything today i'm just showing you a little bit and then in interior wise you have the options back here like i said you can uh you know but well, you only get one option for this bed is plaid but you have an option here uh where's it at for this guy uh, i think it's over here there it is for the little curtain Pretty cool and these are all sisl things i have right here uh you do have options of changing out where you want the onboard computer uh, and then also your gauge options here you have quite a few of them to choose from carbon panel type three different wood you can use pretty darn cool and then you have a standard frame with visor and with visor v2 so options there as well and then you know different uh different wheels you want to change out from those uh you know i do have the, the wheel the wheel pack DLC and all that stuff. That's why you see those. And then people ask me all the time, what about the cell phone and all that? How, how I got that? That's all uh, part of that as well as part of the uh, the DLC that uh, SES put out. So there you go. That's pretty much everything. Um, really cool truck. I got to say, I was uh, more than pleased with it today. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next time. Take care.